in this video I'm going to introduce quantile regression in a very in, uh, from a very intuitive point of view. So first off, in everything else we look at almost, we're just interested in the conditional mean, at least in the OLS world. But of course you might wonder why the mean, why not the median? We could think of a model in which the conditional median is linear in x. And in general, we can think of the tauth percentile, or the tauth quantile, uh, as being linear in x. And that's what quantile regression is all about. So first off, the quantile of a stochastic variable y is a number such that tau uh, out of the total mass is of y is less than that number. For example, the 0.5 quantile is the number mu 0.5 such that 50% of mu, 50% of the probability mass is smaller than tau. And we get the, these quantiles by the inverse of the CDF. Um, so graphically, uh, you can have a quantile d is defined such that uh, when you take mu t through the CDF, then you get tau out. That means that mu t is the tau quantile of x. And here, this is just the normal distribution I'm showing you. So you can see that it maps the real numbers from minus infinity to infinity into the unit interval from 0 to 1. And when we flip that on the other side, we can take some number between 0 and 1, some number tau, map it through the inverse CDF, and then we get out on the other side, the quantile. And uh, here they are in the, in the PDF. You can imagine this is a histogram of the, the blue line is the data. And then uh, these are the quantiles for, for that data. And this is the normal distribution. I'm showing you the, the quantiles here. So the conditional quantile is just the same thing, except that the CDF is now conditional on x. How to think about that? Here's a data set simulated from a quantile regression model where um we can we can we have x on uh, on this axis and y on that axis and then we can think about saying i want to look at quantiles conditional on some x this is what we think about um it's not entirely true because it needs to be an infinitely narrow interval but this gives you then an idea of what's going on we're looking at this x here what does the distribution look like there so there's a distribution of y's here, and we could imagine computing the, finding the quantiles uh, of that distribution. It looks like this. So the red dots represent the 0, 5, 10, 15, and so on percentiles. So the 100th percentile here, that's the maximum, and the minimum will be uh, the 0th percentile. So these are the quantiles conditional on x. And for in order for this to be true, I mean, we need to go to the full population and have an infinite amount of data, then we can let this interval narrow in and this becomes accurate. But in a finite sample, we're going to have to do some interval around x in order to have enough data points to actually get a credible estimate of what the percentiles are right here. We can do this for many different values of x, and then we get these red dots. So the top one here is the 95th uh, percentile of the distribution conditional on x. And what you can see here is that it is increasing over time. The 95th percentile is going up as x increases. So what quantile regression then does is simply to draw a straight line through these points. And that's the quantile regression line for tau equal to 0.95. Here we go. That's the quantile regression for the 95th percentile. Uh, and you can see that the, that line goes, uh, goes pretty neatly through these points. And similarly, we can do this for the uh, for tau equal to 0 0.5. That's the median for each of the different x's and for 0.05. And this is uh, what uh, quantile regression is all about.